What's the haps with the craps, y'all? We are back on yet another Wednesday for another hump day anime. And today, I look, okay, so I've tried not to talk about incest, and I know I've been talking a lot about incest, but I gotta talk about Little Sisters again, and I, I feel terrible about it. But this show is just, it's just dope. So let's talk about Naikai, Naikamo, Naikaimo, Naikamo. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing these names, but uh, in English it translates to my little sister is among them. So let's talk about trying to find the perfect little sister and my little sister is among them. So breakdown time, my little sister is among them is about a dude who's a multimillionaire and he's the heir to a business like capital thing and his dad dies and then as, at his dad's funeral he finds out that he has a little sister. And so he goes to this school because his mom's like, yo, you need to breed us some children and find yourself a wife. So he goes to the school to find himself a wife and he finds out that his little sister also goes to the school and she's stalking him high key. And she's like, yo, I'm gonna marry you. And he's like, nah, bro, we can't do that. So in a sense, this is kind of like the anti-incest because he's like, hey, chill out with all that. You my little sister, cuz. Um, and so he's trying to find this perfect girl while also trying to find his sister. And it's kind of hard because every girl that he's like trying to go after like has a tie to him some way. And he, he lost his memory at some point because it, it, all anime writers are very lazy with their writing process and they just choose amnesia as the perfect plot device. <laughs> so now he's trying to find his little sister and while he's trying to find his little sister and the love of his life, he just sees the most amount of naked women ever. Like these women are just throwing themselves at him. They're like, yo, you want it? Bow, take it. This is yours right here. <laughs> and so there's a bunch, a bunch of scenes. I mean, there's there's nudity in every episode. And I know that that's what y'all came here for. Y'all were like, yo, I don't care about the plot, bro. Tell me where I can see the nudity at. There's nudity in every single episode. I told y'all last week, I was like, yo, I ain't been hitting y'all with the heavy stuff. Today is a heavy one. They be coming after him. <laughs> so, basically the entire plot of the show is it's a, it's a mystery etchy. And I, I've never thought that a mystery etchy existed. I didn't think that there was such a thing as a mystery etchy because I was like, how do you fit mystery and etchy into the like the same show? But they did it really well in the case of this show right here because the mystery is that he doesn't know who his sister is. And even though it becomes kind of obvious, they throw you off the trail enough times to where you're like, it might not be obvious. And then they hit you with a side, uh, like a like a curveball. And you're like, okay, cool, I believe this curveball. And then the curveball turns out to be not true. It's, it's pretty good how they like somehow weaved a mystery into this show about a dude trying to find a girl to have babies with. And and just a bunch of nudity. I don't know how they did it, but they had some pretty good writers up in the studio. Another cool thing about this show that I think is um re relatively good is the fact that the main character isn't like extravagant or amazing. Like he might be a billionaire's son, but he's not like crazy. Like he's not like uh like the perfect human being that can do no wrong. He's and he's also not the worst person ever. Like he's not like so dense that you like he just doesn't get the clue. Like he figures out this mystery on his own. He puts the parts together. He's like trying to find clues. He's making up good plans. And it's really dope to actually see a main character that feels real in the sense that he's not so dense that you're screaming at the TV, but he's also not so amazing that you're like, I'll never stack up to him. He is a very good like middle line where you're like, I like this dude and I want him to get the girl. <laughs> Plus, I just touched on another good thing about the show is that the girls all feel really dope. Every single girl on the show feels like a girl that you could see him being with and you would want him to be with. And even though you have a favorite, at some point another girl comes in and swoops your heart up because she's so dope. And then you're just sitting there like, dang, I want this guy to get with all of them. And I'm pretty sure if you read the manga, he probably does. Uh, somebody go peep the manga out and tell me if he gets with every girl because that would be uh, that'd be pretty dope and I'd read the manga for that for sure. So if you want to see a dude not choose his little sister and have a bunch of nudity thrown into his face, go watch Naikamo. My little sister is among them. Naikamo? Naikamo? Man, I'm gonna need like a, a Japanese translator in the comment section to tell me how to pronounce these words. But it's My Little Sister is Among Them. It's 12 episodes plus an OVA. It is subbed and dubbed and I don't remember when it came out. I want to say 2015 but if I'm wrong I'll put the right date right there. So go check out My Little Sisters Among Them. That's it for this hump day, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope y'all go out, and I hope y'all enjoy the anime, and come back and tell me how dope it is. I'm out. Peace. Love y'all. Yeah. Okay, I get it. You claiming that you with it, but nah, you ain't with it, dog. Yeah. Yes, I'm committed. You want me to stop, but I never quit it, dog. Hey. And I don't need nobody. Hey. But I want somebody. They all hate cause I'm all in And that's why I'm about whatever, man Spending money like it's gonna last forever, man We living life cause we finna live forever, man Live forever, man, gonna live forever, man Yeah, that's why I'm about whatever, man Spending money like it's gonna last forever, man